Well, good morning. My name is Austin Wilson. I'm here with, with Paul. Morning, Dude, folks. What are we doing today? We're going salmon fishing. That's right. You guys absolutely love the last salmon video. So hopefully we're going to go catch a few more fish today. And uh, <laughs> it's a little bumpy, right? Huh? <laughs> a little bumpy there. You've ever dri driven a stick before? It's my first time. Yeah. <laughs> I can tell. Oh, right in front of the highway patrol. <laughs> Anyway, we're gonna go try to catch some fish today. We did get a little late start, but it doesn't matter. There's fish gonna be in the hole, and we're gonna we're gonna catch them. We're gonna find them. So let's get after it, and we'll see you there. <laughs> oh, you are, dude. So actually, really, the best spot's like from here down. So what we do is just get in the Yeti seam on the other side, kind of right in front of them. We'll just kind of drift around. So like you can see that kind of Yeti seam. That's some juice. Yeah, gotcha. Because right here should start turning around. Quite good. Actually, there's another really good spot right here on the inside. No one's really hit that. Fish in here. These guys have been on a couple good ones this morning. Okay, here's the next spot right here. Yeah. What is, what is, there's my fish finder. <laughs> Found one. <laughs> We've been seeing them jump below this seam, so I think they're starting to possibly restock in right now. Well, just go up. Okay. Sorry, dude, but I just feel like there's so much pressure in here. Alright, bub. Well, we decided to do a little money move. I mean, there's a lot of fish in that spot. I just feel like there's just too many boats, too much pressure. Uh, what do you think, Paul? You think there's... I mean, there's fish, man, yeah, but... There's fish in there, but you know, these fish, we proved our own... It's time after time after time. These fish know exactly when there's multiple boats above them. Yeah. The second we had two boats peel out of the hole this morning, fish were jumping all around us. Yep, so, so we're, we're gonna... We're actually gonna run upstream and uh, check another spot out. And then we'll, we'll give it that about an hour or so and see if we stick anything. I'm sure there's gonna be a bunch of fish up there, too. Sorry, the first spot didn't work out, so stay tuned to the for, for up here. Same scene. No, I got fours and threes in there too. Legal too. At least it feels like Go towards him.
My arm's already dead. <laughs> <laughs> the, the fish of a thousand jigs. <laughs> Ten thousand jigs. Come on, give me a nice calm jump. Oh, what's he going? Oh my. Holy <laughs> That is a hammer. Oh my god, dude. That is a fucking giant. That's a big one, dude. <laughs> Are you gonna leave me hanging or what? <laughs> yeah, boy. That's a big one, dude. 30 pounder, maybe? That's a 30 pound fish for sure. That's a solid 30 dude, pound plus fish. fish. For sure. Let me hold the net just in case he kicks. It's a big buck. It is. I can barely hold up. Let me get out of his mouth. There he is, folks. Away. Ready, bud? Just follow him. Oh, boy. <laughs> Easily. When I seen it come up, we both at the same time. Holy smokes. Dude, that was sick. Okay, that right there, Austin, is why I like a deep net. <laughs> Let's get up there and get another one, shall we? Yeah. Jump, it's gonna jump. Oh my god. <laughs> Same like placement too. Yeah, just came off. Dang it. Oh well. <sighs> my net wasn't big enough. <laughs> back down to the Want to jam down there? Jam back up. Right up. Okay. Well, Paul, what do you think about that spot? Oh, well, we know there's always fish that load in there. They're harder to find. A lot of pressure, you got guys casting weights at you. you know, the good spot where you want to be is right where the center of everybody is standing on the bank. Um, it's harder fishing, a lot more current. We don't have a trolling motor on the duck boat. We're doing what we best we can, just trying to stay in position with main motor. But And uh, Austin stuck a, uh, I'll go on a limb and I'll say that fish was all of 30 to 32 pounds. But uh, we're gonna go back down and yonder and. We've seen all the boats that were down there that gave the pressure earlier so we're gonna go check it out and see if uh, we can see if anybody's home yeah i mean there's a lot of fish in there so but there's a lot of pressure too so we're actually going to leave that area and go down and hopefully no one's in that in that spot there's a lot of fish in there it just seemed like there was too many boats in there and kind of keep the kind of kept those fish from biting so we're going to slide in there nice and slow nice and quiet and uh, maybe be able to pick one uh, one or two up so murk baby murk nice and quiet <laughs> nice and quiet all right, we're gonna head down there. You know what? We're doing this. Yeah. Let me see if I can figure out how to drop it down there.
<laughs> shall we? Oh my see what's down there, shall we? The GoPro. Seriously? Yeah, why not? We're gonna see what's going on down there. Oh, you're on. So all that is salmon. That's what I had the GoPro going through. That's pretty crazy. Loaded. It's actually really cool to know. Wow. We thought those were shad. Mm -hmm. They are uh, actually all salmon. So that's pretty cool to know. Boris, right? That's where they keep jumping too. I can't. That. No. For some reason, that wind's just kind of blowing us around. Of course. Jeez. <laughs> Sorry, boys. Nice. Yeah, well, for sure. That's why I thought, I was like, there's no way I got smacked right here at the front side. Maybe on the other side, it's a meter. Oh, no, boy. Coming up. Coming at you. There it is. Sun's not the best angle. I'll switch the spots. Yeah, sure. You wanna get a, another underwater? Yeah. Oh. Dude, good job, man. Thank you, sir. At least you got one of them. Hey, at least we got, we got two in the boat. I got two. <laughs> Well, I think that's a wrap. Obviously, we had a great time. Caught a couple fish. Too bad they're all foul hooked, man. It's so frustrating when you guys saw those fish, man. There's a lot of fish in the system, and it's so hard. You can't get them to bite, man. I don't know if it's just the water temp or just all the pressure or what, but uh, I know first thing this morning, we heard there was a lot of fish caught. So, um, obviously, the, the bait and rod I was using, I mean, I'm using a, a Dobbins 795. It's a swim bait rod. Throwing that on 20-pound tactical fluorocarbon you guys throw whatever line you guys want um i like that fluorocarbon i mean you guys can use mono or whatever the mono and the fluorocarbon kind of help that bait so it doesn't get hung up as much 
Now you want heavier line. Um, if you go like 17 and lower, the, the bait keeps on hanging out on, on the line. Um, like I said, throw that on 20. A fat, you know, I'm throwing it, what is that? Abu Garcia reel, it's seven, seven to one. Um, bait, we're just throwing the laser, uh, P line laser minnow. Throw a two ounce and a three ounce. Seemed like the two ounce was, uh, you know, seemed like it was more effective. But, um, you know, I've got more legal fish on the two ounce than I have the three ounce. But anyway, Paul, thanks for uh, inviting me out here. I appreciate it. Hey. Dude, next time, huh? we have to come out here and- There's always them. next time, man. Always Let's next time. Let's go fishing, not catching. Yep. And the best part about it is being legal. And everybody that sees a foul hook fish calls you out and they see, give you gratitude when you throw it back. Yep, always throw back those those foul hook fish. I will tell you what, they give you a damn good fight. They do, they do fight hard, but uh, always gotta let those fish go. Do not keep them, they need to go back, you know, so. Always disappointed when they're foul hooked, but Hey, it's part of the game when you're jigging. It, it just happens. So, not like we're doing it intentional. Intentionally, it just it just like I said, it just happens. They but, uh, eat it, man. They do it's eat been it. Tried and true. It's a good. It's a good, very good tactic to go approach these things because you get a school of them and uh, you knock one in the head, it pisses off the other one, and they come after what's pissing them off. So, right. Clearly, we didn't knock enough heads today. No, no. And obviously, you guys saw all that footage, the underwater footage. That was pretty cool, huh? But uh, I, happen to happen, I happen to sit down in the boat and kind of rewatch that stuff, and I thought it was pretty neat. Anyway, like I said, this is where we're going to wrap it up. Thanks for watching. If you could do me a huge favor, subscribe, smash that like button, and comment. I'd really appreciate it. All right, guys. See you guys next time.